Ladies and gentlemen, this is Razor Razor Sharp. We are on for some more hockey. Welcome to Center Ice, Traverse City, Michigan on this wonderful Friday evening. It is the Traverse City West Titans taking on the Farmington United. High School of Hockey is on fire. Now I do have to let you know it's gonna take a little bit to get used to these names. I don't have names on jerseys. I have a roster though, and I'll do my best. Ryan Leslie took that face off. This puck will be moved out. It will go back to the captain for Farmington United. That is number 23. Kyle Jackson is the captain. Number seven will come in the zone. Great defense by Farmington United though. Number 10 will go for that puck. We're gonna have a little work in the corner there. Number seven for Traverse City West. Gonna move it out to the point. Number five is gonna take a shot. And it's handled by the netminder. Number 32, Brian Sommerfeld. We are back to the face off. That's number 10 for Traverse City West Titans. Gonna take that face off. That is Michael. That name is a fun one. Schwermerhorn, I'm gonna try. Oh, there's a chance in the middle, backhand! And then that minor is equal to the task. Here comes Farmington United up the ice, but stopped at the sideboards by number 10. Michael Schwermerhorn, I'm gonna try his name again. This puck is gonna be moved out to center ice. Here comes Farmington United, number 14 is gonna come up the ice. He's gonna gain the blue line. He's gonna look for options, he's gonna pass over to number four. Number four takes a shot. That puck went through some traffic but didn't find a way home. This puck will be moved over to number 11. 11 passes over to 14. That's Alex Knight that will take that pass and move it up in his own. And Farmington United will go for a line change. This puck will be gathered up by number 17. The captain from Traverse City West moves up to number 10. A backhand pass did not make its way. And the goaltender will slow things down for Farmington United. There was a shot on goal there. Sommerfeld had to be alert there as Traverse City West was putting it on him. Number 16 out the points, gonna put that back down low. That is number 16, Connor Sliger. This puck come to the offensive zone. A chance for Farmington United, but it'll come back out as number 16 gets that puck up to number 12. Here comes number 20. A shot! That puck will be handled by the sliding pads though. That was number 20. Mike Myers who had that shot on goal. And here comes the captain up the ice for Farmington United, but it will go to central ice. Moved over to defenseman number five. Number five will get in the zone. That is Grant LaFay. Gets it back out to number 20. Mike Myers, Mike Myers has the puck. Mike Myers is gonna put it back down low. Number 22, a backhand. That puck did not find its way on net. This puck will sizzle down the boards and go back. And once again, that is Myers with the puck. Myers is working hard. I've called his name a few times. Here's number 22. Moves it out to 16. 16 is gonna move it back down. Mike Myers is gonna go get, no, he does not get to this puck. The defenseman. Number two for Farmington and I will pass it up to nobody's home. And number five will move this puck back to 16. That is Connor Slager. Back to Farmington United who will set up shop again. That's number 11. Alex Feldman will take the puck. Move that puck. It'll be intercepted by number 17. 18 will get this puck in the offensive zone though. But here comes West once again. Number 17 is going to move up the ice. A shot. That puck sizzled past the netminder off the pads. And this puck is going to be gathered in the corner. Passed over to number four. That's Jason Hill. Number seven. Ryan Leslie will get that puck. There's a lot of hustle and bustle in the corner, though. This puck is going to be centered pass. That puck absolutely was blasted past the right post and did not find its mark. But what a great attempt as that puck was absolutely hammered. This puck will stay in the offensive zone for Traverse City West. Number four will gather this puck up. Nick Perrin for Farmington United. That puck will be sent down the boards. It will stay in the zone. It'll just make it to neutral ice. Number nine will send that down. 
Here comes number 17 for Traverse City West. That's Josh Reese. Shot that puck from way out. We heard some woos from the crowd, but nothing happened there. It's got to be on target. Just kept in his own by number 11. That puck will be flipped up and out of play. We have 12 minutes and 10 seconds left in the first period. It is still a 0-0 deadlock. Both teams are working hard. Not many shots on goal, though. Great teams are playing great defense. Here's a chance in the middle. This puck will be brought back out the point. How about number 11, a shot? And Summerfelt will see that puck to his glove. Number four, whistle this puck around the corner. Get up the sideboards by held in by Traverse City West. Number 11 will peel back on defense and get this puck. That is Jason Brzezinski. I'm sorry, Jack Brzezinski. Nice move there by number 10. But this puck will come back in the defensive zone. Brzezinski will move this over to number five. Grant LeFay on defense. Number nine will move in the zone. Going to look to shoot. That puck will go off some paraphernalia and pads to number four and not make its way on net. Here comes Farmington United up the ice, though. Could not quite gather up that pass. This puck will be moved up. That's number 10, Michael Schwernborn. Shout out to Fletcher. And Michael Schwernborn, the captain, puts the puck away with a shot from near the blue line, a deflection, and it is a one down the game for the Traverse City West home hockey team. That's right, we got a one down the game for Traverse City West. The green and tan jerseys. That That puck will go all the way down for an icing. We have a face off in the offensive zone, but here comes, oh, gathered back up by number 12 for Traverse City West, a shot. That shot did not make it on goal. Number 23 to move this puck up the sideboards. That's number two that takes the puck. Number two will set up, nice move to the inside. This puck will not quite come out of the zone. That's number 17, Josh Reese. Josh Reese was on the spot to keep that one in the zone, but it came out momentarily. They're on the sideboards working hard. Little battle there in the sideboards. The captain for Farmington United will move this puck back to his defenseman. Oh, good interception by number 17. That is Josh Reese. The shot! That puck had to be handled, and it was barely found by Sommerfeld. We have an arm in the air. Somebody's going to the Sinden. Who will it be? Let's zoom in on that recipient of a two-minute penalty. Who is it? It looks like number two from Farmington United, Joe Daniels, will spend his time in a two-minute timeout. And we'll see if Traverse City West can capitalize on the power play. This. That face off in the offensive zone. This puck will come around the corner. Sideboards, number 17 will handle it. That is Josh Reese. Moving over to his defenseman, number five. All past the center, number 19. Puts that puck down low, nobody's home. Back out to number five, Grant LeFay. Grant Flay down to number nine. Number nine, the captain, Luke Brady. That puck will make its way past the net. Number 19 will gather this puck up, looks for a pass to number 10. Did not quite get on the stick. And here comes United to get that puck out of the zone and out of harm's way. Here comes number five up the ice. That's Grant LeFay. When I get to know these players throughout the season, I will call their names and no numbers. I apologize. Doing the best I can with no knowledge until I got into this game. That puck will go down in the offensive zone. Traverse City West is keeping the puck in their offensive zone for the most part and not giving Farmington United a chance to get the puck going their way. And that spells victory. LeFay, pass over. Number nine, Luke Brady. Going to send that puck back up to number 17, Josh Reese. Josh Reese over to 
Number five once again, Grant LaFay. Down low to number nine. Ooh, fanned on that pass. Pass out front, rebounds. Another chance, a shot. That puck was handled. What a great play by that goaltender Sommerfeld. Found it somehow. 19 to pass over. One timer was on the way, but did not get delivered. That puck will go out to center ice. We got an arm in the air. Another penalty is coming. Who's going to the Simbin now? Number 19 for Traverse City West. That is Tyler Essman. That's right, Tyler Essman will spend some time in the penalty box. And now, with only eight seconds left in the man advantage, four aside now for eight seconds, and Farmington United will go to a five on four power play. With 8.07 left in the first period, it is a one nothing game for Traverse City West. Number four for United will grab this puck at the corner. Shot from way out. The net minor for Traverse City had to be equal to the task there, and he was. Number 15, Murphy Cahill will get this puck out. Between the pipes tonight for West is a player by the name of Mason West. Plays for Traverse City West and has got the last name West. That's pretty fun. This game has not gotten physical at this time, but I look for that to pick up. There's a nice little check by number 15. Somebody got hammered there. Puck will go all the way down. Farmington United is on the power play and they just can't get set up because Traverse City's defense is so good. Here comes the setup. Number two is going to go to the outside. That is Joe Daniels. But great defense by West. They'll just clear the puck once again. And number five for Farmington United. Brian Burgle. Tried to get up in the zone, but that smothering defense of West is keeping them at bay. The captain for Farmington, 23, Kyle Jackson. Going to move this puck over to number 11, Alex Feldman. Trying to get in his zone once again, but no chance. That is an icing. Do this for a pro team one day. Oh, I was just talking. Talking about my future. We are back to hockey. Talking to people in the crowd, tell them how much I love to call hockey games. Number 14's in the zone, he's gonna pass back a shot. Did not get through the defense, number seven. That's right, number seven, Ryan Leslie blocked that shot. Grant LaFay. Nice pass there. This puck will be moved up in the zone. Working hard is number eight, Gavin Heisel. Center and pass. Sommerfeld had to hold the post there and be alert, and that's exactly what he did. Sommerfeld. Tricky little save there. United's going to try to get up the ice, but... Great defense, like I said. Great defense beats great offense every time. This puck will be put to the sideboards just trying to get out of the zone, are they? Nice move there, but could not get past the last defenseman. That puck is passed up to Ryan Leslie. Ryan Leslie's going to recircle his wagons, get it over to number 17, Josh Reese. This puck will be lost at the line. No offsides. It looked like it was going to happen, but it did not. Smothering defense. Good move there. Here comes number five. Number five tried to make a move. Had no one to pass to. A shot! That puck was absolutely blistered into the net. And stand by for another face-off. Knight facing number 12 for Traverse City. That is Abe Starr. I know some stars. Come on, come on. 
Abe Starr is going to take this puck, move it over to number five, Grant LaFay. 14's coming in the zone. To the outside, looking for a center pass. That puck was off the shoulder area of the netminder and a chance, a shot, a rebound. And that was Jacob Dean, number 14, who tried to backhand that puck in. Did not make its way on target, but a good attempt by the young lad. Slashes are coming. No arm in the air, but I'm seeing the stick being used not very carefully by number 20 there. Mike Myers was slashing that guy over and over. This puck will be moved up. Here comes the captain of United. There's some physical play where the, the captain came together with number 21 from West, Andrew Mogenborg. Move on to a faceoff. We are enjoying some five on five hockey with 3.30 left in the first period. That's tree turny. I steal a lot of comments from other announcers. That's one of my favorites of the Chicago Blackhawks. I'll tell you what, man. I love how he uses the word three. So sorry if I seem like a thief. Tree 30. <laughs> All right. Here comes United, a pass over to number two. Number two, Joe Daniels shoots. That puck is handled easily by Mr. West in between the pipes. Passed over. Nick Pearson couldn't get a look at the net because he lost the puck on the pass. Here's a shot. That puck was absolutely a howitzer, but handled by Mr. West in net. There's a good check by number three. And he gets his skates taken out from underneath him. That Reese Robertson, an arm is in the air. I believe a charge happened as I was looking down at the roster. There was some physicality. It's Number 14, Alex Knight. And number four, that was Jason Hill. The power play is still on for United. A shot from the point. Did not make it through the defense. It'll go back all the way down. It will get to the net minor Sommerfeld. And he'll reset it up for the captain, number 23. Kyle Jackson trying to make things happen for his team, but his team is facing a juggernaut of a defense. Traverse City's 1-0 on the year. And I want to say that the other team is 2-1, I believe I was told. So Traverse City needs to get some more hockey games in, but they're playing very well. Very disciplined. Number 9, Randy Croucher will get that puck. This puck will come in the middle zone for number 14. Alex Knight's got the puck. Good move. The outside, great defense though. Power play is getting set up now. This puck will go down low. 18 moves it over. Shot did not make it on net. Alex Knight was looking for the one-timer and kind of fanned on it. This puck will go down. Number 11 will chase Alex Feldman. Alex Knight and Alex Feldman, two Alexes. 18 will move this puck. Brandon Rodden. Behind the net goes number 11 for West. That is Jack Brzezinski trying to get it out of harm's way and out of the zone. It will stay. A little check going on there in the sideboards. Oh, going to be a breakaway. This is number 10. Michael Schoenborn could not get in because of the great defense. This puck is flying up the ice. Number five is going to move that puck. Wow, look at LaFay go. Grant LaFay almost had a good set up there, but defense is there. That puck will be deflected up in the zone, going the offensive zone. Chasing will be number nine, Luke Brady. Luke Brady will come to a stop, look for options, move that puck over to number 10. That will end the first period with a score of 1-0 for Traverse City home team West.
This is the Razor Razor Sharp Hockey Network. Stand by for the second period. Hockey out. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back for the second period of Traverse City West taking on Farmington United. Hockey on. LaFay will move this puck over to number 11. Number 11 will pass it up. That puck is deflected off the stick of number 18 for United. That's Brandon Rodden. It'll go in the offensive zone for Traverse City West. Puck is gathered up by number seven, but he's got a battle over in the sideboard. This puck will go behind the net. Number 23 is going to get it ah, partially checked by number seven. Ryan Leslie. Here comes United up the ice. They're in onside. 14 with a move. He's pushed to the outside with a great defense by LeFay. But this puck will be gathered up at center ice and pushed back into the zone. West between the pipes takes that puck, gives it back to his counterpart, number 11. Nice little hockey stop action there. This puck will be moved back over to number two. Number 17 from Traverse City. That is Josh Reese. We'll put this puck down in the corner. In the offensive zone, Traverse City West goes, trying to generate some more offense. Here comes number five up the ice. He's gonna have a little time space, but he's got three defenders in front of him. That puck will be sent down the boards. Number 28 will come together with number 17. Josh Reese came together with that player. Ooh, getting rough. That's right, little fisticuff action going there with number 17. Josh Reese. Gathered up by number 28. That is a giveaway. Pass down. Pass over. Could not connect. That was a beautiful chance, though. Michael Schoenborn could not gather the pass up in one time at home. And we'll move on to another draw. Abe Starr takes that face off with that long hair flowing. Rachel Starr, where are you? Just saying hi. That's Abe's mother. One of the best hockey moms you'll ever meet. That lady knows more about hockey than probably the entire community. She shared so many things with me about growing up in the hockey world. Just sending my shout out to Rachel, who is here at the game behind the glass. If you want to zoom in on her in the center, zoom down there. Hello, Rachel. You'll say hi to me later. We're back to game. All right. This puck will be set over. Farmington United just trying to get out of their zone. Here they come out of the attack. This puck will move up in the zone. Number 23 is going to go down in the zone. That is Aiden Rappin. You need a little color commentary? I don't have Hey, number five. Number 23 is going to take a shot. That puck will whistle past the net. That was Aiden Rappin with that shot on goal. Actually, it wasn't on goal, but it was over the net. LaFay's going to gather this puck up, puts it back down low. Starr's going to let that go for the other player. Starr, center, pass the shot. That puck was absolutely sizzled, but did not make it on net with the defense in the way. Ooh. Almost a steal in the middle of the ice. Here comes the captain. 18's going to pass this over, but it's broken up by Traverse City West. Stays in the zone on offense. Here comes Traverse City, but we have a stoppage of play. We have a penalty. Who is that going to the penalty box? Number 20 for Traverse City West. Miko Myers will make his way to the penalty box. I apologize by calling him Michael earlier. His mother came up and corrected me, and I got it down now. Face off. 
This puck will be sent down the length of the ice to number 32 in the net. Brian Sommerfeld. Farmington United looking to get their chance on the power play here. Passes over to number 11. Alex Feldman will come in his own, leave that puck for number two. Joe Daniels, Joe Daniels will lose that puck. Up the ice comes number 10, Michael Schwernborn. What a check in the sideboards. As United came to absolutely demolish Schwernborn and he put the hurting on the other player. Sometimes you are the hammer, sometimes you are the nail. Face off. Skating hard is gonna be a chance here, but Mr. West, that's right, Mason West will say no. I'm gonna move that puck before it gets to even be a chance. Ooh, a chance here, number two, a shot! Did not make it on that. Number 14 is going to move it down low to number five. Brian Burgle looks over his options. Pass over. What a play by Burgle. Burgle looked over with a cross ice pass on the back door. And I believe, I believe that was Alex Knight. Number 14 that put that one home. It is a one to one hockey competition. We have a unitedly amazing hockey game going. That's right, one to one. Gavin Heisel just laid the body on that other player, number eight, and you heard the crowd explode. There is Geisel. Heisel, excuse me with an H. There he is. United will start moving this puck up forward. That puck will stay in his zone. Just gathered up by the glove by number 11. Jack Brzezinski. Lafay with that puck gonna move it through the zone. Being pressured by the defense of the United. Ooh. Could have been a giveaway there. Did not happen though. Here comes Trevor City West. A backhand. A shot. Oh, the shots are ringing out. But no one's finding the back of the net. Number five, a shot. That will be pushed off the side by Sommerfeld. This puck will come out to center ice, number 11. Jack Brzezinski will send that forward. Number 18 is going to make a move in the zone. Another move, a shot by 15. Wow, what a howitzer. Murphy Cahill just about find the far side in the top shelf, but it whistled past that corner of the net. And we have an icing. Face off in the offensive zone for United. 17 will push this puck around the corner. That is Josh Reese. We are five aside. No power play is in action right now. Oh, what a check. Number two said, meet me. Here comes number 50. We got three on two developing. If they skate hard, that's number 15 in his own Murphy Kale. Dropped it for number 17, Josh Reese, who shot that puck way wide. Pass out front. This puck will be put all the way down the ice for an icing. Nick Martin will take that face off. Backhand didn't make it on that. United trying to get out of the zone, but Traverse City West is keeping it in their offensive zone. Puck is out front. Didn't stay there long. Good move by number 14. Alex Knight going up the ice. Nice move to the center. Good hockey, good stick handling but couldn't get through LaFay in the end of that. Here comes Traverse City, number 21's coming up. He may be alone. Andrew Mogenberg, shot! That puck will be gathered up. Physicality, watch out! Number 23 for 
Farmington United, Kyle Jackson will spend some time in the penalty box. It looks like we're five on four again. Here goes Traverse City's power play. LaFay will pick that one up at the point. Move that puck over to number 17. Josh Reese will send it back over to LaFay. LaFay will pass down to number 10. Cross ice pass. Oh, that shot was lasered, but did not find its target. Ladies and gentlemen, this is only going to get better as I get to know the team over the season. Pretty soon I'll be calling their names and numbers without even looking at a sheet. Bear with me, it's the first game of the year for me. I do have to say I won't make a lot of games because I have a travel hockey son, but I'll do as many as I can. Here comes number 17 up the ice. Josh Reese gets in the zone, gains the blue line. Little battle on the sideboards. United's going to move up the ice. LaFay's going to go back to clean up this mess. Here comes Grant LaFay. Grant LaFay looks over his eyes. 19 with a shot. That puck was missiled over the net. Tyler Espin set up number 10. Did not go home. Down the ice goes number 10 once again. Michael Schwernborn, this puck to center ice. Number nine there could have been lit up, but number 10 on United decided not to. And he'll give him a shove now on the boards. There goes number nine, Luke Brady. Moves it over to Tyler Espin. Tyler Espin, a little bit of cycle going on here. The shot, that puck will not make it through that slew of players. Sent back down to number seven. Number seven, Ryan Leslie. Back over to Tyler Espin. Down low. Ooh, that puck is kicked. That wouldn't have counted if it went home. The kicking motion was in action there. With 7.02 left in the second period, it's still 1-1. And who's going to be the team that's going to make the next move, the next play, and put a goal on the board? Well, that remains to be seen. Razor Razor Sharp is eating this one up. A shot. That puck didn't find its way over the shoulder. Good attempt by number 18. Eric Springstead. Rebounds. Loose puck in front of the net there. Nobody can find. Number six. Max Grigsby tried to get that puck up and deeper in the zone. Would not make it. It will make it down low now. Grigsby. Shot from the point. Gathered up by Sommerfeld. And we'll move on to another draw. That puck will go around the boards. Kept in the offensive zone, but gathered up by United. Pass over. United trying to make a move up the ice. Going to put that down the sideboards. You got to keep your head on a swivel. The hits are coming. Sinka! That's right, six minutes left in. The second period. And this is a hot one tonight. One to one still. Who's going to make the next play? That puck will absolutely sky to the top of the rafters. And I mean sky. We've got a lot of people at the game today as you look over the crowd. Both teams have brought everybody to watch this one. Thanksgiving is over, but happy holiday season. It's upon us. Christmas is coming. Jingle, 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 jingle all the way. Hockey time. Nice pass over, but eluded the stick of star. LaFay. LaFay will move that puck up to Murphy Kale. Nice hit on Star. That puck will also go to the rafters, but they'll let him play on. LaFay. 
Pass over. Starr just lost that in his feet. LaFay. LaFay puts that puck up in the corner. And we'll have a fire wagon line change. Nice break up there by number 17. Josh Reese. Michael Schoenborn, the speed demon himself, coming in the zone. Gonna keep that puck. He checks people while he skates. Check that kid out. Varsity hockey is so fun to watch. Number 19's got a chance to shot. Good save by Summerfelt. Tyler Esman has a shot on goal. That puck was in a dangerous area, but we are still 1-1. Ladies and gentlemen, with 3.57 left in the second period, I got a question for you. Razor Ranger Sharp wants to know who's got the hockey mojo? That's right. Somebody needs to come up with a goal because this is a tie score and we need somebody to come to the rise and do their job. Both teams are doing their job, but we need a goal on the board. So far, I'd say the, one's the one name that comes to mind for the most jump on the ice is Schwernborn. I don't even know if I'm saying his name right, but what a hockey player. Oh, move the inside. West will clear that puck over to the corner. A shot. That puck goes up in the air. Nice cross check. Oh, they're going at it. Michael Schoenborn. Schoenborn. I, I got to find out how to pronounce that name. Farmington United. Here comes a fast skater up to ice number five. But he's going to be challenged well by that great player, Connor Slaggart. Here comes number seven. Going to recircle the wagons, trying to go back into his zone. He's got a head of steam going. Here he comes. Pass up. That will be brought back from center ice, though, and be rifled back into the zone for United. This puck is set up the boards. This puck will get in his zone. There's going to be a chance. A shot on goal number 18. Oh, it's a good save by West. Had to ask a quick lateral movement there. Number five, the outside, Brian Burgle. He's a great little hockey player. Plays a shot. That's right. Mason West, Johnny on the spot. Stops that shot on goal. Hey. Jacob Dean was waiting for that puck, never got to him. Jack Brzezinski passing that puck over to Jacob Dean. Back down to Brzezinski. Back up to Dean, not, did not make it there. Number 22, Nick Martin, haven't called his name. Oh, that is gonna be an offsides. With 1.42 left in the second period, it's still one to one. Number 22 is coming up the ice. Nick Martin is gonna try to establish an offensive attack here. Martin's gonna have a shot. Nope, does not quite make it. Oh, a chance to shot! Wow, that was a great chance by Jason Hill. A shot! Summerfelt will see that puck all the way. Cross checks are happening. Physicality is hitting the streets, baby. We're on the ice, not the streets. There it is. I won't say that word. There's a bad word in that song. I'm not gonna say it. Razor Razor Sharp does love that rock song. Allison Chains, baby, man in the box. Question is, who's the next man in the box? Nice save by Summerfelt. Well, the player in the box right now, I can't see the number from here, but we do have a power play with one minute left in the second period. That is an assistant captain who's in the penalty area. I'll get his name and number in a second. As they don't put the number up there for me. Oh, yes, they do. 
I do want to share something with you. With less than a minute left, the home team, Traverse City West team, has got 15 shots on goal to only four for United. That's a great accomplishment. Here comes LaFay. He's flying up the ice. Nice move to the outside. He gathers the puck up, goes down the boards. That puck will be rifled down and be handled by Mason West. As the seconds tick down here, I want to say that this is an awesome hockey season upon us and everybody has safe travels throughout the bad weather. It's always good to respect those roads and slow down when it's icy. We're gonna count it down. This is the end of the second period. This is the Razor Razor Sharp Hockey Network. Enjoy the game on my YouTube channel and tell all your friends the magic words are subscribe, follow, and share, baby. Razor Razor Sharp, hockey out. We are back, it's the third period. This is Razor Razor Sharp and it is a 1-1 deadlock. Hockey on once again. Traverse City West is playing at home and here's a chance in the zone. Number 17 tried to move the puck over. Defense is there for United. We still have 20 seconds left on the clock in this power play. Traverse City West trying to move the puck up the zone. That puck will get lost for a second and will come out of the zone. That will eat up the rest of the clock for this power play. We will be five aside. That puck is left for number 14. Battling hard is number 10 though for Traverse City. LaFay tried moving that puck over, it would not get over. This puck will go out of the zone. Chasing hard is number nine. Randy Croucher will get to that puck, but that will be an icing. Here comes United up the ice. But a good battle there to keep it in the zone. We have a stoppage of play. Number four, move that puck on the sideboards. That was uh, Nick Perrin. This puck will be gathered up by West and we got some pushing and shoving going on. And we got a face off down the offensive zone for United. And the home team will get this puck and try to get it out of the zone. This puck will go around the net. Little battle on the sideboards there. Sent to the center. Passed over but stays in the zone. Nick Perrin will get that puck down low and it will be stopped. We'll have a halt to play by West. Face off in the offensive zone for United. But here comes West. Jacob Dean going to skate hard, tried to center and pass, did not make it on target. Great active sticks for both teams. This puck will come out of the zone. LaFay. That is Grant LaFay, the brother of Chase, the Petoskey juggernaut. That's right. Chase LaFay plays travel hockey for Petoskey. He's 11 years old. And if you want to see an up-and-coming hockey player, go watch that kid on my YouTube channel. Just look up the Traverse City North Star first Petoskey and watch number 24 move up and down the ice. Arm in the air. That was a delayed offsides. We're now back to action. This puck will be moved up. Number 20 is going to try to gather that puck up. Miko Myers. Here comes number 17, the captain. As we head back into action, number 10 on Traverse City West is Skirmerborn. I did find out his name. I asked his father. In between all these games, I'm always talking to people in the crowd. I did run into his father, and that is Skirmerborn. Cool last name. Great name for hockey jersey. Ooh, a little trippage action. No call on the play though. Nick Martin 
Move that puck up to his counterparts and it will come in the offensive zone. Move back out. Number five will gather that puck up. He might have a chance to get in his own. He's gonna shoot. Oh, that is a great pad save. Left some loose change though. Now we got a, a push up the ice. Number 15, a shot. Did not get through the defense. Nick Perrin is a hard defenseman to shoot a puck through. That's a name I've been calling a lot. What a great defenseman. Number nine up the ice. Randy Croucher, backhand pass in front. This puck will stay in the zone by the captain. We got to stop to play. The arm is in the air. Who's going to the penalty box? That's right. Jason Hill is wondering what happened to me. Why am I in the penalty box? Well, you did something wrong and you got caught. He got caught with his hand in the cookie jar. And it's now a power play for Farmington United, the away team. Nick Perrin moved that puck up to number 19, Colton Duff. Center pass didn't make it through, but shot, shot by Perrin. Perrin could not find the net through that maze of players. Alex Knight, number 14, send that back out. Perrin could not deflect that puck as it went all the way down to Sommerfeld. Number 19 gathers this puck up. Colton Duff gets that puck over to number 14, Alex Knight. Alex Knight kept that puck for a while. Nice move there. That puck has moved up in the zone. We have an onside. There could be a shot on goal. Absolutely plastered. Josh Reese just plastered that player as he took a shot on goal. Brian Burgle moves his puck over to Nick Perrin. Nick Perrin cross eyes pass to number 18 who will get checked in the sideboards. Throwing his body there was Michael Skirmerborn. Farmington United looking for a way to get in the zone. 30 seconds left in the man advantage and Traverse City's playing outstanding defense on the PK. Penalty kill, penalty kill, penalty kill. Gino Desenzo didn't call his name yet. Moves that puck over. Alex Feldman on the retreat. Going to look over, pass that puck over. Randy Croucher, good move by number 14, Alex Knight. But great defense. There's a play in the middle of the ice that's gonna be moved up. Josh Reese could not get his wheels moving because of that great defense. Star is pushed into the sideboards and Josh Reese did his job by finishing his check as well. A combustion of players in the neutral zone. Traverse City trying to move that puck over for a shot on goal and great defense always beats great offense. Grant LaFay moves this puck up. Grant tried to get in the zone, could not quite find the handle. LaFay back on D. It's gonna lose that puck, but it's rescued by number six on D. Max Grigsby was in the right spot, or that was a breakaway fixing that happen. Jackson. Jackson. Used everything he had to get that puck out of the zone. He even dove for the puck. Here comes United, number five up the ice. Got two defensemen to beat. He's gonna peel back and pass over, but that is intercepted by number 19, Tyler Espin. 
Is Tyler Essman a yes man or is he an S man? I believe he's an S man. <laughs> All right, number 22. United is going to keep that puck in the zone. Just kept out in the zone. Grigsby. That puck is rifled out of the zone. Summerfelt will gather, but we have an icing. Well, here comes Traverse City up the ice. Great D in front of him, though. Number 10 grabs that puck for United. Gino Desenzo. Desenzo will take this puck as well. Set over. Pass up. A lot of action in the neutral zone. Players are playing great defense and crowding each other. Almost a shot on goal there. Desenzo. Backhanded out of the zone. Here comes number four, Nick Piran. Somebody's telling everybody to skate. I think that's what they're doing out there. I love it when I hear someone in the crowd say skate as if you're not supposed to. All right, number 10 will put us up the sideboards. This puck will just get out of the zone. And Grant LaFay will stick handle. Go to the outside. Nice little move around that stick. Another nice new center pass. Did not make it on point, but good chance. Nice checking over there. Alex Feldman took some action in the checking there. Little physical bodies being thrown around. Number 19 was almost off to the races. That puck will just be sent into the zone and a line change will happen for the United team. LaFay is flying up the ice. Tried to pass up. This puck is onside. Number 18 is gonna be in a shot. And the glove hand comes to use for Sommerfeld. With 6.59, that's right, just under seven minutes left in the third. One to one. Both teams are playing outstanding defense. That shot almost found a way home. This puck will go into the defensive zone for Traverse City West. And that is uh, Josh Reese. We'll move this puck forward. Number eight's got the puck now. Coming out of the zone is Gavin Heisel. The captain for United will get this puck in the corner and try to move it out of the zone. That it will, but it will get stopped. A shot into the net, out of play. Another face off. Face off down in the offensive zone for Traverse City West. Center and pass, shot on the mask. That puck did hit the mask. A summer foul, center and pass, didn't make it over. Luke Brady trying to set someone up. Who was he setting up? That was Michael Skirberborn. Here comes that great player, number 14 with a shot. And West is equal to the task on that high shot to the shoulder area. Ladies and gentlemen, let's listen to 10 seconds of sounds of the game. Starting right when this faceoff happens. That's right, 10 seconds of Sounds of the Game is brought to you by, what a save! Summerfell was in the right place at the right time. He said, look what I found, Mom! <laughs> Face off, the oh, what a shot that was. Puck's in front, there's a loose puck, but no one found it. Five on five, hockey is getting excited here. We're getting excited. All you listeners out there, all you people that watch my channel, watch my games. Sounds of the Game was brought to you by Christian Goss, Pure Guitar. That's right, the most amazing 13-year-old electric guitar player you'll see in the country. Please check out his YouTube channel. 
That's Christian Goss. Pure guitar. Jousting. Medieval times are on. There's a lot of physicality on out there. People are starting to hit each other. Joe Daniels will get this puck out of the zone. It'll go down. This will be icing. The shots on goal are 20 in favor of Traverse City West to eight for United, but the only one that counts is the one that's in the net, and it is a one-to-one -one hockey tilt. Who's gonna be the team that rises to the occasion? Who's gonna break the tie? Face off. Alex Knight will lose that face off to the offensive push by Traverse City. We'll have a stoppage of play. At 4.22 left in the third period, it is getting down to desperate time for both teams. You don't want to go into overtime. You want to win this game in regulation. And one to one is where we're at right now. That puck will be pitchforked. Backhanded into the zone. Grigsby sends that puck up. Eric Springstead sends that over to number eight. Gavin Heisel. And that shot will go out of play. Ladies and gentlemen, the time is ticking down and both teams are looking for that go-ahead goal. Razor Razor Sharp wants to see it. Ooh, nice block there by number two. Joe Daniels got in the way of that slap shot. Canceled out that chance. There's gonna be a pass over, a shot! Wow, that puck almost found its way home. Center passes. That puck is cleared though. Stays in the zone, moves to the inside. Stick handle around, a shot! And Summerfell will see that puck all the way to his glove. Face off. United looking to go up the ice now. Number nine, Randy Croucher is going to try to get the puck, but great defense by Traverse City. Moving around defenders is number 17, Josh Reese. Gets that up to Mr. Star. Star shot. Deflection. Another shot. Star couldn't get to that puck. This puck will be out of play. With 2.37 left in the third period, Razor Razor Sharp has got a question for you. And that question is, who wants to be a difference maker? That's right, somebody's got to make a difference and win this game. Here comes LeFay. LeFay comes out on the right wing. A pass in front. Rebounds. And Sommerfeld comes up with a god amazing save. What reflexes. Cat like reflexes for the away goaltender. We will rock you is playing in the background. And I'm here to tell you, we're watching a rocking game here. Two high school teams battling it out one to one with 217 left in the third period. I ask you who wants to be a difference maker? I got another question for you. Who's gonna rise to the occasion? That's right, the face off is happening now. Luke Brady. A uh, loose puck, but it's handled. Summerfelt's playing an amazing hockey game with 25 shots on goal. He stopped every one of them but one. That's 24 saves. That is the difference in this hockey game, Mr. Summerfelt, between the pipes for United. We're still over two minutes left in the third. Somebody's got to come up with that big play. Are they going to remain safe or is somebody going to take a chance? Five on five. 
That's right, number five, battle number five, and Traverse City West came up on the brighter end of the stick. Here comes number 19 up the ice. Can he just get this puck in the zone? Tyler Espen. This puck will stay in the zone. Pass over. Gonna be a shot, a chance. Good. Loose puck there. Here comes United. That puck will be sent in as number two, Joe Daniel, just got hammered by number 17, Josh Reese. 130 left in the third period. Puck is shot in the offensive zone. Traverse City is coming. We are still five on five hockey to the end. Pass over, another pass. Pass over. Loose puck was there. No one can find it though. Here comes number 18 up the ice. Brandon Rodden passes it over to number nine. Number nine's got some wheels. He'll back in that puck to the corner. Traverse City West looking to come out of the zone. And Mason West will calm the waters. Face off. We're counted down. Less than one minute left in the third. Here, oh, that could have been a great rush down the ice, but that was Murphy Kale who couldn't get the handle on that pass. Back behind the net, that puck goes. Mason West sent it up to number 17. This puck will come down to neutral ice. Number 10, Gino Desenzo. This puck center ice. LaFay will move that puck up. Going in the corner, working arts, number 15, Murphy Kale. This puck will go all the way back down the other side for an icing. Right now, that's right, we have got a timeout for the teams. Traverse City West. Head coach Jeremy Rianta is coaching them up. What's gonna happen in 17 seconds? Is there enough time to score a goal? Yes, there is, because I've seen it happen in 0.5 seconds. And we're gonna look at the Farmington United team. Brad Levick is telling them and coaching them up as well. Which coach has got a better idea? Well, in the next 17 seconds, we're gonna find out. Not a lot of time, but time is of the essence to win this game. That's right, get out of your seat and jump around, everybody. This is a fired up hockey game. Get out your seat and jump around. We're coming down to 17 seconds with only, that's right, only 17 seconds left on the clock. Can you imagine? One, one. Who is gonna break through? Face off down the offensive zone for Traverse City West. That puck will be in the middle of a scrum. There's a chance out front. Did not quite go where it needed to. A move around the defense. Number five, Brian Burgle is gonna come around. Good defense. These seconds are gonna come down. Oh, we got a. I believe Brian Burgle was held up, and Traverse City will go on a disadvantage going into the overtime. <laughs> Tyler Esman will spend some time in the penalty box, and it will go into the overtime as well. These seconds will tick down. This is Razor Razor Sharp. We are heading into an overtime. This is a Razor Razor Sharp Hockey Network saying, hockey out till the overtime. Gentlemen, boys and girls, grandpas and grandmas, aunts and uncles, and the hockey world, it is overtime. That's right, who's gonna come up with this all important goal? There is a power play going for the away team, United. Can we get a shorthanded goal out of Traverse City though? Let's look for a breakaway and a loose puck and end this game. That could be it right there, but defense is back. Traverse City just looking to clear the puck and be safe and get back to five on five with 130 left in the power play for United. That puck will be cleared out, sent right back down in the zone. Joe Daniels will gather this puck up. Pass up off of the skate of number 14, Alex Knight. He's gonna look to set up shop. He's over in the corner now. 
Traverse City's pressuring. They just want the puck out of the zone at this time. Let those precious seconds tick off and get back to five on five. Good battle there. Puck is pushed up the zone. Number five is going to put it back up the point. Nice move there. Jason Hill could not catch up that puck. He'll go for a line change. That puck is hammered out of the zone by number 11. Jack Brzezinski. Number two for United. Puts that puck back up in the neutral ice and coming down to 10 seconds left on the power play. Traverse City's looking to go five on five soon. That's what's gonna happen. Number five to the outside. Center and passes, full strength is upon us. Five on five, hockey is back. Nice interception in the middle of the zone there. Could not get the puck forward though. Here comes Traverse City up the ice. Number eight, Gavin Heisel, the shot. Goes short side, could not label it. Shot, ooh, this is gonna be a two on oh. We're gonna have to have a big play by the netminder. He's gonna center and pass. We have a penalty. That was a great play, but it was interference in the center of the ice, right near the net. And we are gonna have a power play for United once again. Five on four. There's gonna be a shot from the point. Wow, that puck did not miss by much. A chance in the middle, gathered up by Randy Croucher. Randy Croucher over number four. Rebounds are there, but gathered up by LaFay. LaFay's looking to get this puck out of the zone. Good battle back behind the net there. This puck will stay in the zone. Sent down to number 14, 14 sends it out. Good play there. That puck will come out of the zone. Murphy Kao did his job. Sent back up. This puck will go in the offensive zone for United. LaFay is gonna get this puck again. Nice hockey stop. That puck is out of the zone. Sommerfeld will leave that puck for, or actually will pass the puck up. That puck is left for number nine, Randy Croucher. Croucher's gonna try to make a play, but great defense, number 10. Michael Skirmerborn. Nice little break up there. Gonna send that back to number 11. That shot will go out of the zone. We are down to less than a minute in the power play for the Farmington United. And you know that if there's even close to a penalty, Traverse City will go on a power play as well when this one ends. Good play by number seven. Just trying to get that puck out of the zone. Brought up to number 10, Gino Desenzo. Trying to put that puck on net. West, Mason West will be ready and able. Face off in the offensive zone for the United team from Farmington. Loose puck there, gathered up by Farmington. Shot, that puck actually hit the crossbar, I believe. LaFay looking to get that puck out of his own. Nice move to the inside. Here comes Grant LaFay. Grant LaFay is gonna push that puck up. He's gonna go deep. He's gonna look for a center pass. He's gonna come out. Get that puck all the way up to the point with a shot. Deflections. Center pass coming. No, send it back. This puck is gonna be put down low. Send out a shot. Rebounds. Could not get their stick on the puck. Slowing down and setting the play up is number nine though. Center passes. Rebounds. A little under three minutes left in the overtime. Good defensive play by LaFay. Grant LaFay passes that puck up. Moving in the zone, number eight. Number eight's gonna get a shot on goal. Look for, look for a stuff attempt, did not work. Here comes number five with some wheels. Brian Burgo can move, watch out. Nice little inside outside move off the post. That puck will be cleared out of harm's way. Brian Burgle, center pass. 
Just got the puck out of harm's way to Traverse City. Here comes Traverse City up the ice. 2.16 left in the OT. A shot. That puck will go over the net. Traverse City trying to get the puck out of harm's way. Here they come. Number 17 makes an inside move. Leaves his stick with number nine. Randy Croucher pulled that stick out of his hands. Michael Skirmerborn's gonna use the shoulders to get control. Center pass, no one's home. Here comes number 18. Eric Springstead moves that puck up. Traverse City trying to get some zone time. Tyler Esman, the battle is on. Esman rebound, oh! Could not find that loose puck. Shot down low. We have a stoppage of play. And Traverse City will go to, is there a power play? Yes! Number four, that's right. Nick Pirin, their best defenseman, is going to spend some time on the pine. 127 left in the OT. It is Traverse City West time. Are you listening? Are you able, Traverse City? Face off in the offensive zone. This puck will be sent back out to the point. LaFay is going to move it over to number 17. Josh Reese is going to look over his options, send it back over to LaFay. LaFay is going to once again, he's going to send it down low. That puck, nice stick handle there. Number 19 is a shot. Summerfield will handle it though. And there'll be a stoppage of play. There are no moral victories, ladies and gentlemen. 28 shots on goal to 10. But Traverse City needs to win this game. They've dominated a shot. Oh, that puck just skirted out the side, or this would be a victory, a chance, a shot. Summerfield was on the post. Skirmerborn looks over his options, passes down. Tyler Esman. Esman going to go out to LaFay. LaFay. A shot for the point. Deflection. It's a shot. Oh, that puck went to go. Oh, it's a win. That's right. That's right. Josh. That's right. Josh Reese has come through. Josh Reese. Can you say Josh Reese? Number 17. Number 17. It's pandemonium. Josh Reese has just put the overtime goal away and we have a victory at center ice here in Traverse City, Michigan. I'm losing my voice, but what a hockey game. This is Razor Ranger Sharp. It is my favorite time of the hockey to watch them pay their respects and shake hands. This has been an unbelievable hockey game. Traverse City West will go home with a victory and they will remain undefeated on the season with a 2-0 record. What a hockey game. My voice is absolutely starched. What a hockey game. Thank you for watching. Remember, subscribe, follow, and share Razor Razor Sharp Hockey. This is the Razor Razor Sharp Hockey Network. Hockey out.